Hi, friends and new friends out there in Dash Nation. I'm Christopher Carruthers, also known as Tao of Satoshi, and you're watching Cash Alternative TV. When you look through lists of noted blockchain contributors and influencers, you see the typical faces. Names like Vitalik Buterin, Charlie Lee, and Andreas Antonopoulos. The people you see there in most cases deserve to be there. You see top developers, entrepreneurs, investors, and thought leaders. You see most of the people who help make blockchain the industry it is today. When I was looking through these lists, however, I noticed one glaring omission. Someone who is responsible for a multitude of blockchain innovations that are used by many other projects. Someone who founded and built a well-known popular cryptocurrency that is currently gaining adoption as a means of payment all over the world. Surely this person would deserve a place among the hallowed elite of the digital currency space. But for some reason, he doesn't appear. This person is Evan Duffield, founder and former lead developer of Dash. Why do I feel strongly that Mr. Duffield deserves a place on this list? Good question. Evan Duffield was born in 1980 in a small town in Arizona. He was a lover of coding from an early age. He even started getting coding jobs while he was still in high school. When he turned 20, he began his full career in the tech industry. This was around the time of the dot-com boom, and he worked for a number of tech firms such as Warped AI, iAcquire, and Verizon Wireless as a software developer. During this time, he discovered that he was quite gifted at data analysis. He loved analyzing data streams and set up large-scale computers to help him do so. Machine learning was important to him as well, developing algorithms capable of performing complex analysis tasks. By the mid to late 2000s, his work with complex AI protocols provided opportunities at firms that handled social media accounts. He designed protocols that offered more robust social media services because of better handling of big data. The world of finance would draw his attention around 2010. He started to pursue this interest by studying for his Series 65 certification, which would allow him to become a licensed investment advisor. While studying for the exam, he came across Bitcoin and read Satoshi's white paper. His early background in protocol and algorithm construction gave him an immediate appreciation for Bitcoin. He then invested and got involved in blockchain technology. Around 2013, Evan's analytical mind began noticing shortfalls in the Bitcoin system. He began bouncing ideas off of Bitcoin's thought leaders in the Let's Talk Bitcoin online forum. His thoughts about incentivized full nodes and privacy for Bitcoin were met mostly by deaf ears. Because of his background in finance as well as coding, he had a unique perspective on these issues. He waited a while to see if Bitcoin would implement his suggestions. After it became clear that they weren't, he decided to go for it and try building his own digital currency. Evan's new digital currency project was known as Xcoin. It featured a new hashing algorithm called X11, which would be the first of his contributions to the blockchain industry. This algorithm was designed to more closely follow the discovery of gold and new technologies needed to do so. Mineable by CPUs at the beginning, but open to development of GPU and ASIC miners in the future as a natural progression. Evan felt that would be a fair way to more mimic Bitcoin's early mining and reward schedule in a shorter time frame. To this day, many projects use the X11 hashing algorithm created by Evan Duffield. Fair and more responsive mining and rewards seemed to be a priority for Evan as well, as one of his early battles was to create a dynamic difficulty and reward formula which closely matched network hash rate. After some bumps in the road and, some, and a name change to Darkcoin, the second of his blockchain contributions was perfected. It was called Dark Gravity Wave, and it was responsible for either attracting miners when the hash rate was low, or lowering the incentive when it was high, balancing the financial and protocol level aspects of the project. This formula is also used by many projects today in the digital currency space. As you can see here in this 2013 Reddit post, Evan's background in finance led him to think about incentivizing the many aspects of digital currency apart from mining. He thought if the miners could be incentivized, surely the full nodes could be as well, as they are a very important part of the system. As a result of Bitcoin's inaction, incentivized nodes would make their debut in Darkcoin. A portion of the block reward, which used to be only for miners, now rewarded full node owners. In exchange, the full node owners maintained perpetually online servers which hosted full copies of the Darkcoin blockchain. 
These servers, known as masternodes, would also enable what would be Dash's unique private and instant transaction technology. Darksen and InstantX were two more innovations that can be credited to Evan Duffield and Darkcoin. These innovations, made possible by Darkcoin's second tier masternode network, enabled fully private and instant transactions for Darkcoin users. The private transactions were achieved through coin mixing, which was inspired by a previous implementation known as CoinJoin. Evan improved on the weaknesses of CoinJoin to create a protocol level coin mixing system that has been peer reviewed and refined over time. Users of Darkcoin would have a transaction histories that were difficult to impossible to trace. This offered a level of sophistication higher than Bitcoin. InstantX would be another improvement on the Bitcoin protocol. Waiting for confirmations was fine for larger transactions, as it was way faster than bank transfers. However, Evan Duffield envisioned his project as being a digital cash for use in everyday transactions, such as going for coffee, getting gas, or going to the grocery store. As such, instant settlements were important. The creation of InstantX using the masternodes to lock transactions so they could be considered final achieved this goal. Darkcoin would then go through a period of rebranding as being more in line with mainstream users was a priority for the majority of the community. Darkcoin changed to Dash, Darksend changed to PrivateSend, and InstantX changed to InstantSend. So Evan Duffield's Dash with PrivateSend and InstantSend would be responsible for two more innovations used by many other projects in the blockchain space. You'll remember that Evan Duffield had a background in coding and finance, so the melding of these two passions was evident in his work on Dash. Arguably, the biggest innovation reflecting that came to being in August 2015. It was known as the Decentralized Governance by Blockchain, and it made Dash the first Decentralized Autonomous Organization, or DAO for short. This new system made it possible for the masternode network to vote on improvements and give funding to worthy projects around Dash. Dash's block reward was split again, with miners and masternodes sacrificing 5% each to fund funded projects, which aimed to improve aspects of Dash. This meant that Dash always had access to funding and had an outlet to vote on important decisions, such as raising the block size limit, which has virtually paralyzed Bitcoin, and led to a community split. This was a very big deal, and the idea belonged to Evan Duffield. These six major innovations that Evan brought to the digital currency space led him to being recognized in literally zero lists of important blockchain figures that I could see. In my book, he deserves to be near the top of all of them. Yet his name does not appear. What could be the reason for that? Could it be the less than factual narratives about him and the launch of Xcoin that continue to permeate to this day? I don't think they helped. Find out more about that topic in my documentary entitled Decentralized Deeper Thought, The Truth About Dash. I'll link it in the description below. I hope that one day Evan Duffield will be recognized for the visionary that he was. It's the right thing to do. Well, that's it for me. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and click the bell if you'd like to hear more from me in Cash Alternative TV episodes. Until next time, remember, Dash is a digital alternative to cash and becoming more so every day. Bye for now.